London because I know that sometimes I walk on people's toes. But sometimes they come back and say, thank you for giving it to me straight. We play too much. We're playing. And Christ is on his way back. It's time out for the playing. It's time now to give it to these preachers. First, first the body. How can Jesus come back when the head ain't right? The head got to be right. When the head get right, then guess what? Christ is going to come back. The heads ain't right. Y'all ain't going to like me, but I don't care. The heads is not right. And God is calling for the heads to get right. It's time out for this. You mad at me because God blessed me. What you got a reason to be mad at me for? You better be telling the Lord, thank you. Because if he blessed me, he'll bless you. I ain't got time. You know what? I'm, I, I, I want God people delivered today. You mad. I ain't getting no blessing. I ain't getting no blessing. You ain't getting no blessing because your heart ain't right. You ain't getting no blessing. I remember. I remember. I, 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 I don't mind telling what God did for me. I remember when I was really going through. And I didn't understand. I said, you telling me to give this money. You telling me to plant these seeds. But God, I am going through. And the Lord told me this is a test of your faith. He didn't tell me go around and say, oh, they not right. I gave my money and I'm still struggling. No. When you give your money, you don't give it to the person. You give your money to God. I got some stuff to get off my chest today. Because I'm tired of us. I ain't talking about the people in the seats. I'm talking about us as leaders. And then you talking about, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to get in what God said. You ain't trying to do nothing because all you got to do is open up your mouth. I remember when I was afraid. When God called me into preaching. I said, God, I can't preach because I can't tell these people nothing. And I'll never forget when he took me to the scripture and said, if you open up your mouth, I'll speak through you. I'll never forget when God began to minister to me, just to minister to people that were broken. And now the people are so busy. I watch. I break down. I cry. I get off of here. I won't say nothing. I get quiet, but I be praying. I have watched so many fake people on here. <laughs> And you will run behind them. And you will get up your money. Because they gave me the truth. And in reality. Yes, you can record it. Yes, you can report it and put it on, on YouTube. Wherever you want to put it at. Because it's time now. I, it's time now. God gave me this word. And God said he was getting ready to start taking people out of place of where they are because they have not followed his directions. He said, my, my direct directions was to cry loud and spare not. That means if I see you in error, I am supposed to correct you. I'm not supposed to pat you. I am supposed to correct you. God wants correction in this. God is calling for the apostle, the chief apostle, the archbishop, the bishop, the prophet. You prophet. I'm a major prophet. They are minor prophet. Whatever you say you are, you better get your life right. You better get your life right. I don't want to die and not give you what God gave me overnight. I don't want to die and allow you to be still walking around here in error. And I allow it and I don't tell you. You're walking around here mad. you walking around here mad and your life ain't right. Oh, I'm, 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 somebody ain't going to like me today. You walking around here mad because God is calling other people to another level. But your life does not line up with the word of God. And you have the audacity to be angry. You better go and cry out to God. Save me. Deliver me. Whatever you are doing that is not lining up with the word of God, ask God to save you and deliver you. And you know what? Some of you preachers are just mean. 
downright mean. And then you get mad because the people say, I don't like them because they attitude, they disposition. And then I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> y'all ain't going to like me. Y'all will go get them wives with the same attitude you got. Got You got them wives with the same attitude you got. She mad because you mad. She mad because you ain't doing what you... She mad because you standing up talking to a woman. She mad because you laying up with the woman and she know it and there ain't nothing she can do about it. But you mad because God has not grown your ministry or taken you to another level. But it's time now for the men and the women of God to get our lives in order. In order to move into that place where God wants you to be. I'm not leaving me out. You hear me say our, our. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't sleep with no other man. I don't do nothing that's going to cause me to miss God. I don't drink. I don't smoke. But I do preach. And I do prophesy. And I try to give correction. And I don't care if they don't like me. And I told them Sunday, I don't care if you get mad at me right now. It's not even about you. It's all about him and your soul being delivered. You mad, your mama mad, your brother, your sister, your daddy mad. Everybody is angry. And that spirit has came on down through the channels. And then the leaders standing up there mad. And then they'll bring somebody in that's angry. And they preaching and prophesying over you. And they mad. And they got them homosexual spirit, them lesbian spirit, them uh, 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 uh. Uh, adulterous spirit, fornicating spirit, and they standing up there preaching over you, and that spirit is transferred, and you don't know why you feel the way you feel sometimes, it's because those spirits have fell off in the body of Christ, because they got the wrong kind of people up there talking about, let them, they got a word, let them bring the word in.